Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over the shape builder tool and how to use it. So the shape builder tool is much like the path builder tool, but it does a better job at finding shapes, whereas the path builder tool was built for finding paths. Now to use the shape builder tool in vector ink, you want to start by selecting the shapes or lines that you want to take part in the shape building process. So I just highlighted everything in the center of the canvas that I want to use and then activate the shape builder tool, which is located right below the path builder tool. Now, with the shape builder tool, you can create shapes that have holes in them. So for instance, I'm going to create a square here and in the middle of that square is a cutout okay like so like this and highlight them again activate the shape builder tool and now I'm going to add color so I'm going to select one of these colors here and do the same thing. And as I'm doing it, when I release, you'll notice that there is color applied to the shape I've created. Okay, and you can release and then keep going. So I'm gonna hold down on the shape and start merging it with new shapes, like so. And it'll continue the process and you can wrap it all the way back around to the beginning. Now, once you do this, you don't want to start adding shapes inside of it. It just won't work because you already have a shape applied on the outside. So if you want to add shapes inside of a cutout, you want to do the inner portion first and then work your way outward. Because you notice when I go back to the selection tool, that inner shape I did was gone. In fact, it was never there because it didn't even give it color. All right, so I'm gonna highlight these again. And this time I'm going to start with the inside. and then do the outside. Okay, just, to, just something to remember when you're using the Shape Builder tool. Okay, now when I deselect and go back to the Shape Builder tool, I now have my two shapes. You may have already been used to this tool with if you've used it in Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer or any other application they have their way of doing it the vector ink we have our way of doing it and i want to show you the things about vector ink that make it a little different just to avoid confusion when you start so one thing to note is when you're in you have this merge mode and you have erase mode merge mode will erase lines just like the erase mode as you can see here Okay, it's removing lines. Other applications don't do that. Okay, you have to go into erase mode in order to erase lines. The difference between merge mode and erase mode in vector ink, though, is that merge mode will also merge shapes. So, like so. And you notice it started with the highlight, but now the highlight is gone. That means it can't find a shape and that is most likely because of this line right here if I remove this line now it finds the shape so if you notice that the highlight goes away it's because it cannot find a shape and there must be something hindering it so just it's most likely going to be a line cutting through the shape so remove the lines from inside if you notice that okay so I'm going to continue with the process of building out this shape now you're going to notice something. Once I complete this circle, it did not cut out the outer circle. Okay, it gave me this little pie looking shape. All right, I'm going to undo. And that's another thing with the Shape Builder tool, you can undo. But what has happened is, see, you noticed over here, it did just fine creating a cutout. But over here, it there's too much going on. There's too much complexity. You have a shape right here or shape right here right here and then the circle okay if you want to if you have a lot of complexity going on 
in your cutout, you want to remove some of it, like so, and then start building out your shape. Like so. And now you see it did just fine. And so continuing on, I'm going to finish out this shape here. And there you have it. Now when you hit the, go back to the selection tool, it's going to remove some things and some things are going to stay. Okay, you can just get rid of those artifacts here or you can get rid of them during the shape building process. Right? And yeah, see that right there. So there's another thing I want to mention though, because there's a feature in the shape builder tool that is also in the path builder tool. And that is the ability to create a shape from a single object. So I have, I just laid down the circle. I'm going to draw a line going across. Okay. Now this line is the only thing selected. If I activate the shape builder tool, the line will bring the circle into the shape building process but the only shape that will be replaced at the end of this process is the line so i'm going to add a shape here add a shape here and now the line is gone and you see the line because the circle and the line were intersecting that it also brought the circle into the shape building process so that's it that's it. That is the Shape Builder tool in a nutshell. Newest addition to the Vectoring toolbar. So, hope you like this video. Do like and subscribe. We have a lot more coming, more tools on the way. So, look out for that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.